Uh, when I was younger, I suffered anxiety and panic attacks. Uh, we never spoke about it when I was growing up. It was just something that happened and you moved on. And uh, as we've, as I progressed in life, I've learned to sweep it under the rug and not talk about it until I ended up a couple of years ago in, in trouble and suffering from a, a major depression. I would spend hours a day crying, not eating, um, wanting to be anywhere but where I was. I had attempted suicide and had been brought to the hospital, wasn't aware of what had happened, uh, got told the next morning that I had been strapped down, that I had had uh, police at the end of my bed standing over because of my suicide watch. And the psychiatrist came in and told me, how would one of your family members go home and tell you, tell your girls that you wouldn't be coming home? I have two girls that are 13 and nine. The first time I tra attempted suicide, they would have been five and nine. So they were young. Mood disorders include disorders such as depression and anxiety that affect people's emotional well-being. And most of our focus has been on depression research. So major depressive disorder is one of the more common mood disorders. The research that I focus on is uh, the effect of parental depression on child outcomes. So what we found is that children of depressed parents are at increased risk of psychopathology. So that includes mood disorders, anxiety disorders, and behavioral disorders such as ADHD. Well, research has found that when parents have depression, their children are at risk for psychiatric disorders. But more importantly, what has been found more recently is that when parents go into remission from their depression, the children actually improve. So we want to replicate those results. So we're investigating here um, effective means to treat the parents' depression and how that outcome affects the children. For me, I became intensely personally aware of this issue when I was seven years old. Uh, someone in my family got sick, someone in my family is still sick, and they refuse to acknowledge it. As a child around someone with mental illness, you uh, have a unique, frightening perspective. You become grown up very, very quickly. With children, what's in front of you are the obvious things like, uh, can I get myself dressed for school? Can I get to school? Okay, what about my lunch? All of those things that become survival mode. It's extraordinarily uh, frightening and it is, um, it is a feeling of loneliness, um, even if you have support, um, that shakes your faith in the world. My first depression started when I was 18 years of age, and my last depression was about 10 years ago. So over the course of those several years, approximately 36 years, I suffered roughly eight depressions. The beginning signs for me of depression normally would start with um, a little bit more worrying, a little bit more self-conscious, a little bit sort of your zest for life is starting to sort of decrease. You're basically just surviving. You're eating, you're sleeping, you're going to bed, and, and that's all you're doing. My son uh, does suffer from some concurrent disorders. He's got a, quite a hockey sock full of disorders that he suffers from. Uh, amongst them is uh, anxiety and some depression as well. In all likelihood, he, he was self-medicating, trying to cover up, trying to deal with his depression, his anxiety, um, and we all deal with it in, in different ways. So frequently now when parents are presenting at clinics or hospitals with depression, there's rarely any questions asked about the health of the children. So we want to, we want to let parents know that it's important that their children are at risk. A lot of parents are inclined to hide it from their kids. They think they're protecting their kids. But experience tells us that uh, the children generally know something's up. They just don't have a name for it. So we want to share the importance of awareness in these families that this is a family disorder. There's a high risk that children of depressed parents will also have a psychiatric disorder. So not only are we treating the parents, but we're treating the entire family.